Hi, my name is Arella, and you won't believe my story. But before I continue, my story animated will give $1,000 to one lucky person who subscribes in the next seven days. Tell your friends, your sister, brother, and mom to subscribe now. When I was born, mom and dad swore they had the most beautiful daughter in the world. Look at her eyes, they're gray. No other kids have such beautiful eyes. And her hair is great too. She's so unique. She looks like an angel. That's how I got my name, Arella, which means angel in Hebrew. All my life, people went crazy over the way I looked. It was hard for me to go anywhere without people staring at me or complimenting my unique features. But it also made me a big target for bullies. Once in the second grade, a girl came up to me in class and began to pull at my hair. My big sister said that your hair is a wig. Take it off and let me play with it. I smacked her hand away. Your sister must be stupid then because it's not a wig. Nuh uh, you take that back. She's not stupid. Just then, she began to attack me. I held her off as best as I could, and thankfully, a teacher came and separated us. We do not fight in this class. Go to the naughty corner and don't come out until you're ready to apologize. She never did. When I was in the sixth grade, my parents signed me up to a local modeling agency and I got a job on my very first day. The recruiters freaked out over my look and said that I would be a big star. The only problem was that I had absolutely no desire to be a model. I hated that people always stared at me for looking so different. Heck, even I didn't understand why I looked the way I did. One afternoon, we were doing a shoot outside for a new water toy, and after 30 minutes, my skin turned as red as a tomato. Within an hour, I had very bad sunburns all over my face and neck, so my parents rushed me to the emergency room. Oh please, you have to save her beautiful face! The hospital staff helped me and soon I was feeling a lot better, but my doctor insisted on doing some small tests on me. And that's when we learned that I had a condition called acromasia. It was a genetic disorder that caused my body not to make any color pigments. That's why my eyes and hair color were gray. This condition also made me super sensitive to the sun, so I needed to be extra careful. Life went on normally enough, but mom and dad didn't stop with the whole modeling thing. They had me doing so many different shoots and campaigns that I had almost no time for school anymore. My grades were so bad, and whenever I tried to study, they'd tell me not to worry about it because my beauty would get me through life. So when I turned 13, I decided enough was enough. I'm not doing this anymore. It's not fun for me, and I don't like being used like this. But Angel, you're so beautiful. The world needs to see it. We want the world to know how beautiful our daughter is. I don't care. I'm done. I'm not some display angel for the Christmas tree. I'm my own person. Deal with it. Luckily for me, they didn't push me any further to model, but they still went wild taking pictures of me around the house. I ignored them as best as I could, but they were getting so weird. In the 10th grade, I was transferred to a much larger school outside of our town because our local high school was full, and I was excited for the change. When I arrived, I was amazed at how fancy it was, and all the kids seemed to be very rich too. I really didn't feel like I fit in here, but I was determined to make the best of it. As I headed to my locker, a door next to me swung open and almost hit me smack in the face. Whoa, I'm so sorry. I don't understand why they make these stupid doors open out instead of in. Are you okay? Standing in front of me was the most beautiful guy I'd ever seen in my life. He had pitch black hair and piercing blue eyes. I... I I'm fine. You're new here, right? Uh, I'm Kevin. Nice to meet you. Meet to nice you too. Arella, my name is... Oh my god, end me now, please! Kevin frowned for a second, then smiled. How about I give you the grand tour? This place can be a little hard to navigate at first. I'd really like that, thanks. But just as we'd started, the bell rang for class, and he asked me to meet him in the playground at recess so we could continue. With that, he ran off and I made my way to class. Wow, this boy was hot! but I needed to get myself together. He's just another person, Arella. I was having a really great first day at school, and my favorite part was the home economics class. It was so fun, and we made a souffle on our first day. 
At recess, I made my way to the playground and spotted Kevin by the fountain. Hey, I made you an extra one as a thanks for the tour. Kevin turned around and frowned at me. That looks disgusting. Ouch. It's not my best work, but I promise it tastes amazing. I'd rather eat my own tongue. Why is this vampire bothering me? I couldn't believe my ears. If you just pretended to be nice to me only to insult me in front of your friends, you should know this vampire has teeth. With that, I dunked the dessert all over his head and stormed off. What an absolute jerk. <sighs> the next day, I tried my best to keep my head down. Most of the students were very nice, but some just stared at me the whole time. People in my old school had gotten used to how I looked by now, so this felt really awkward. I headed to math class when suddenly I bumped into Kevin. He grabbed me by the shoulders to steady me, but I pulled away from him, angry all over again. Easy there. I've been looking for you. Well, you found me. Now get lost. Wait, what? What's wrong? Did I do something? Did I hit you so hard with my souffle that you lost your memory now? Just leave me alone. I rushed into class and angrily slammed my book on the desk. What a total nutcase. The class went on as normal until the announcement box went off. This is a message for Arella from the senior class president, Kevin. Arella, I know you're upset with me, but I can explain. Ask anyone around school about me. I'm not some jerk. What the freaking turkey was happening right now? Okay, this is going to sound crazy, but that wasn't me yesterday. I have a twin brother, Sean. That's who you spoke to yesterday. Sean, if you're listening, I hate you. Arella, please forgive me. How about that chore? The kids in class began to cheer and I wanted to throw myself out the window. Even though I was so embarrassed, it was pretty cute too. After class was over, Kevin waited for me outside and I felt my skin burn again. I can't believe you did that. You're crazy. I had to do something to convince you. Just then, a total copy of Kevin strolled toward us. He winked at me. Hey, Snowflake. I see Kevin here let the cat out of the bag. Too bad. I had such fun planned for us. Stop being a moron, John. I'm just introducing myself to our friend here, bro. Chill. I'm his friend. Meow. Sean winked at me again and walked away. <laughs> Your brother is something. Are you sure he's not adopted? Kevin burst out laughing and took me on the tour he promised. He was sweet and charming, and I liked spending time with him. Especially since I discovered he was as obsessed with MSA as I was. We could discuss the latest episode we'd watched on YouTube for hours. I thought things were going nicely. But then, in a few days, he kinda got extreme. On Monday, he bought me flowers. On Tuesday, he had the school's choir sing me a song in front of the entire student body. By Wednesday, he'd somehow gotten into my locker and left me a dozen souffles. Thursday, he had freshmen follow me around the entire day to carry my books. By Friday, I was exhausted. I couldn't understand what on earth was going on. The girls around me seemed to go crazy all over him, but I just found it weird. One afternoon, I saw Kevin looking for me by the gate, so I quickly ducked into the bushes to hide. Got caught in the sun again, eh, Twilight? Great, just what I needed. Sean got down on his knees and sat next to me. Why are you here? Can't you see I'm hiding? Shoo! Look, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but you need to know something. Sean began to play with a piece of my hair, twirling it around his fingers. Kevin is obsessed with you. Like, majorly. I slapped his hand away. <laughs> no kidding! Have you seen him this week? You don't get it. The guy has been in love with you since we were like 10. But I just got here. What do you mean? Sean sighed and pulled out his phone. A baron's got us this for a 10th birthday. Look familiar? Oh my god, that's one of the campaigns I did for a water toy. Yes, he's had a crush on you since he first saw this picture. When he saw on Instagram you were coming here, he made it his mission to make you his. What do you mean? I don't have an Instagram. Then what's this? Sean then showed me a verified Instagram account of me. There were posts of me going back years as an influencer. It had over 10 million followers. What the heck? Sean, this isn't mine. I've never seen this before. And why is it all in Japanese? You're a huge influencer in Japan, Lilypad. Are you seriously telling me you had no idea? I mean, I modeled a bit as a teen, but no, I had no idea. 
Huh, I think you finally got interesting. I had to get out of there. How was I famous in Japan and never knew about this? I rushed to the bus, and the entire ride home, I tried to search for the page, but nothing came up on my phone. At home, I tried my computer too, and again, nothing popped up. I asked mom if I could use hers, but she said she left it at work. I tossed and turned the whole night. It had to be my parents. They were always taking pictures of me, giving me gifts and asking me what I thought about them. Who else could it be? They were so obsessed with me being a model. They created an Instagram account for me and made sure I'd never find out. These people will do anything to make money, but I needed to find proof of some kind. The next day I snuck to the library to use the computer there and suddenly the page popped up with no problem. If it isn't my favorite angel cake, what you doing? If it isn't my least favorite moron, get lost and busy. Sean playfully rested his head on my shoulder to peek at the computer screen. Any leads yet, Sherlock? Nothing yet. I can't access it from any of my devices. It's like I'm locked and I don't know how to get access. <laughs> Amateur. Watch this. He took out his laptop and began typing away like some mad person. The next moment, I was logged into the account. The new password is, Sean is devilishly handsome. No spaces. What did you do? I'm an IT god, and I use my special hacking powers to remove the blockers on the account. It was only available in Japan on your settings, but now you have full access. The IP is listed to this address. Is it familiar? That's my address. I knew it! Listen, I'd love to continue this little dance, but Kevin just walked in, so you better run now if you don't want to be proposed to. <laughs> don't be crazy. Wait, you don't think he'd actually propose? But before I could say anything, Kevin spotted me and began <gasps> to run to me. Sean jumped up and distracted him long enough for me to get away. When I got home, Mom and Dad looked like someone had died. They were panicking, throwing things around as they were looking for something. What's going on? What? Nothing. We're just looking for... something. Arella, have you seen my black address book? I can't find it anywhere. It's in the kitchen junk drawer. Mom sighed in relief and rushed over. But the password won't work either way. I changed it. Both my parents stopped dead in their tracks. What? <laughs> what do you mean, Angel? I changed the password to my Instagram account. You two are locked out. What? How? How did I know? Oh, I just found out. Since you guys had all my devices blocked, how could you do this? Why did you do this? Honey, when you quit modeling, everyone still wanted to work with you. The world needed to see your beauty angel, so this way you could be a model and still be happy. You mean by keeping me in the dark? Making money off of my condition? On Instagram and not telling me? You make it sound like such a bad thing. That's because it is. I can't believe you. My parents began to talk together, but I held up my hand to stop them. Here's what's going to happen. You two are going to donate every single cent to a charity for acromasia. And then we're going to shut the page down. I will not let this go on. You can't make us do that. Yes, I can. Unless you want me to tell the world about your lie. How will you explain that away? They both grew pale and agreed to do it. I watched them donate the money, and then I made a final post where I announced my retirement. I was surprised that people didn't want me to leave, but they didn't know me to begin with. I shut the account down and put all that nonsense behind me. After more weirdness from Kevin, I finally confronted him and told him that I was not interested in him at all. You don't like me? That's, that's fine. I don't like you that much either. You're kind of weird. And with that, he walked off. Yeah, I was the weird one. Later, as I was walking down the hallway, Sean popped up out of nowhere. Arella, my beautiful snow princess. Please love me. Love me. Nice try, idiot. I can tell you two apart now. Dang. And I was looking forward to creeping you out some more. You know, you act all tough, but I think you might like me. Why else would you be so helpful and kind to me? You take that back. I'm a horrible, yet incredibly handsome jerk. No lovey-dovey nonsense from me. No, sir. Then why are you standing so close right now? You're not exactly moving away either. Yeah, just making it easier for you to kiss me. You know you want to. You didn't kiss my brother, did you? Gosh, no. Okay, then. And then he leaned over and we kissed.